Once you have created part number two by deriving it from the part one, in the next question, you are asked to modify this part by just changing some dimensional values. For example, you will be asked to change the 2.5 diameter, or the distance here to the transition in a wall, to 3.25. So how you will do it? You will click on it, so you just click on the right dimension and retype the new value, 3.5. Click OK and click Rebuild. As you rebuild it, you can see how your part geometry changed. Now, we are asked to change the diameter of your circle. And the phi of this circle was, radius was 8.75. So it's to change to the radius of 8, what means diameter 16. So let's type in 16 close it again you will click on the rebuild and it will give us rebuild it feature and then you are just asked to update the mass property so you go to the tools mass properties and here is the new mass is 12.05 pound for example you may also be asked to change some other dimensions for example, let's see what will happen if we change the linked dimensions. 1.25 are our ID holes. So let's click on this one and let's click it, for example, for instead of 1.25, let's say that we wanted to change to 1.00. Again, clicking rebuild. It will change both of them. You see that we changed on the left, but the right one is also changed. Likewise, if I click on the right one and I change it back, let's say to 1.25 and click enter, click rebuild the button, it will be back. You will measure the mass and you will save the part and that will be usually like your question number three or four.